Ohio. Yeah, we're here. Rental car and everything. Playing one golf course in this wonderful state. Where are we playing? Probably the worst golf course in Ohio. That's where we're gonna play. It's a budget golf channel. And we're gonna spend all our money on things we like to spend on and try to save the rest. And that's what we're doing here. No tea time, Ohio. Ohio. Headed on over to a great golf course. Here we are at Mastique Woods. I think that's how we're gonna pronounce it. A Cleveland golf center. I tell you what, I'm liking everything I, I see so far. Now with the full disclaimer, this is not the worst golf course in Ohio. It is the closest one to the airport. And I will say it's a sneaky nine holes you can get in as you're waiting for potentially a delay flight. And this is the golf course we decided to play. It's a fun one, getting paired up with some good people here in Ohio. I'll tell you what, I was impressed by the overall layout of this course, the friends that we made on the course, and also the times we had in Ohio. And as we move into 121 golf vlogs, it felt just natural to get out somewhere different and go to a state like Ohio and try to play a golf course. Now we played one course there before down in the Columbus area, but we're outside Cleveland here and we're looking at a course that's only 1,090 yards, but you could chip and have a little bit fun with some aggressive shots with your iron here. You don't really need a driver with only two holes over 300 yards. You could hit someone out here. That's what, what we almost did on this golf course on number two. It's not a good start, but at least sets the tone with the people you're playing with that, hey, this might get a little messy out here, out in Ohio. Now, I'll be the first one to tell you, I enjoyed this golf course very much. I, my expectations were pretty low. There's some other courses that are municipal courses, and we're going to talk a little bit about the history of the course, walk through some of the other courses not too far, and not cause any problems. With hey, sorry about Located that. Located in the Rocky river valley with the stream cutting right through the river it's just like the other two courses there but this one has a little bit of opportunity to get better there in the appalachian forest which is located you get some trees you get to feel the skies a lot of wind going around the course was designed in 1967 by harry Burkhart. Now, it was constructed to ease the crowded conditions at the two other municipal courses that we should have played, Big Mitt and Little Mitt Golf Courses. Just right down the street, there were the ones we were playing. There's just no tee times as we continue to try to play at some of the demanding times. And it's a solo golf, so sometimes you got to book two, and you know how that can get. Hopefully, we'll get out and play Big Mitt, which was built in 1926. Oh, my God, the course looks incredible. We should have went out there. And then also you have Little Mitt, which is probably a little bit smaller. I'm not going to go through the history of that because we're only talking about this course here. We got to give it props because I tell you what, just being sure five, ten minutes from the airport, I think people can go out there, sneak out on this course and go get on their connecting flight. At the rating of this golf course, it's a 4.3 out of 123 ratings on Google and you're going to go over to golf now. You're looking at a 3.8 out of 5 and golf pass a 3.8. So it's one of those, you know, pretty run-of-the-mill golf courses. However, it's a course we had to play with being only $13 to play the course and walk. And you want to walk it. They got some carts, but unless you got, uh, you know, having some trouble walking or something, then I, I, I recommend walking the course. It's some elevation. I will say that in the Appalachian Mountains, the Appalachian Forest. So it, it's a fun feel to the course. You get aggressive towards the end. I love number nine here. I will say... I think as far as I hit my driver, man. You'll you be find getting some, there, man. Find even talking to some locals while you're playing there. Cause it's the perfect golf course to really learn, experiment with your irons, get better at chipping. Anyone that's a local in this area that's just trying to learn golf, this might be the golf course for you. In regards to a rating on this golf course, we're going to keep it consistent with our other 120 golf vlogs. I think this belongs somewhere in the 5 range, maybe just oh. over a 5 at a 5. Point one, I think maybe just being in Ohio. Now the rental clubs, they were horrible, you know, so it was rough just getting out there and trying to get a couple pars. There's opportunities to play very well here. The course doesn't play that long at all. You can actually a good chance of hitting someone out there, to be honest with you, and that's what we almost did on some of the holes because if you hit the ball 200, 250 yards, you know, you're going to really have a chance to knock someone out on uh, potentially the next hole if you spray the ball because it is a tight golf course, and most people aren't ripping the ball 200 yards. Now, on this channel, we know you are, so keep a lookout for more videos to come as we're ripping and chipping throughout each golf course in the United States. This is Twilight Golfer. Go for launch.